Hello, I'm Rebecca Field with the UPI Entertainment Update on this Tuesday, March 27, 2007. The cause of Anna Nicole Smith's death is no longer a mystery. Florida police say she died of an accidental drug overdose. They say there's no sign of foul play after an extensive investigation that included searching her laptop and watching tapes from the hotel cameras. The Broward County Medical Examiner says he found traces of an anti-anxiety medication, sedatives, weight loss drugs, and other substances in her system. Autopsy results show no sign of any illegal drugs. Smith died February 8th in her Hollywood, Florida hotel room. Rapper Eminem and his ex-wife are agreeing to play nice, at least in public. Eminem asked a Michigan court to stop Kim Mathers from speaking badly about him. He claims her recent negative comments about him in the media are harming their 11-year-old daughter. But they've come to a compromise by signing a court order requiring both parties to avoid such remarks in public. One former punk rocker is facing homicide charges. The ex-singer for the band Mess, Anthony Lovato, was arrested Sunday in the fatal stabbing of a man in Southern California. CNN reports the victim is believed to be his ex-girlfriend's new lover. Police say the two were arguing when a Lovato allegedly stabbed the man with a pocket knife. Lovato tells police the man assaulted the rocker earlier that day. And pop star Jessica Simpson is in the giving spirit. People Magazine reports she made a trip to Mexico over the weekend to donate a new minivan to an orphanage there. Last year, Simpson won a sports car at the MTV Video Music Awards, but instead asked for a minivan so she could put it toward a good cause. The children reportedly welcomed her with open arms and gave her an engraved plaque and a beaded necklace. And 3D films are making a comeback. Director James Cameron says new digital technology are allowing filmmakers to produce 3D films that will wow audiences. A British newspaper reports Cameron will release his upcoming movie Avatar in 3D only. DreamWorks Animation and some musicians also plan on trying out the new technology. Right now, nearly 700 movie screens can handle the new format, but it's expected to jump to about 1,000 by the end of the year. That's all for now. Go to UPI.com for all the day's news and updates. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.